Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you very much for listening to this YouTube channel. January 12, market close higher up 29.45 points or up 0.44% to close at 6,643.18. Value turnover is at 4.7 billion pesos. No, so our market ended higher despite... Um, U.S. inflation printing hot, hotter than expected at 3.4% annually. Uh, so we also have a new uh, finance secretary in Ralph Recto. No? So it's also good and bad news. Of course, the good news there is there will be some changes in the monetary policies. No? So let's see how he will approach uh, the problem of high inflation. No? Of course, he's known to be uh, the tax ano siya eh, no? siya yung talagang <laughs> uh, collect more taxes no? so that's the problem there no? so that's a problematic uh, for middle income Filipinos pero yung income tax matataas na naman no? of course we we don't want that no? of course uh, imagine if you have like 50,000 per month salary tapos taas mo pa yung taxes there no? Uh, what we want right now is efficient uh, tax uh, collection, not to increase tax. No, he's looking at 4.3 trillion pesos annually collection. No, so I don't know how he will approach that. No, so let's see if there will be some uh, increase in taxes, sa mga sin taxes, uh, cigarettes, uh, fuel. No? Anyway. Uh, SurePass is also expecting AI to continue fu fueling its growth and predict its AI-enabled projects to account for 100% of revenues by end of 2025. Now, of course, this is a uh, case study of a failed uh, tech company. No? SurePass is one of the hottest company before 2016-2017. Of course, uh, napag-iwanan ng panahon. No? That's how I describe SurePass. No, but with the new management, at least uh, they onboarded some key people. No, for 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 uh, they got a tech lawyer. No, si Mark uh, Garchitorena. No, Gosir Go Gosireta. No, mali pala yun, No, and of course some uh, new people in the management. Let's see if they can turn this around. Lalo na tech is very hot offshore. And speaking of that, no, uh, I also attended some briefings of some brokerage. Uh, si First Metro, sabi niya, uh, gaming uh, will continue to be the theme of this uh, 2024, especially the hottest stocks of 2023 are, are both gaming, si Plus and si Lotto. No? Si Plus continues to search with their income. No? In a turnaround story uh, from 2021. Si Lotto, let's uh, monitor how they will translate uh, numbers, no? especially with the uh, electronic Lotto. We also don't know if nagboom nga ba talaga siya. Of course, uh, it's very accessible. You can place your bets sa applications. But uh, let's see if other Filipinos uh, ginagawa na yun or, or they still go to the outlet. And right now, we, there's still no signs of uh, iOS applications for for Eloto, no? and also uh, the in the briefing of Abacus, no, they cited ten stock picks, no, so <laughs> sobrang dami naman yun, no? It's not a really a stock picks if you give ten, but I agree with them, no. It's it's a matter of diversification and uh, solid uh, picks for some. No? We have some of them, but the rest no comment na lang, no. So. Uh, what else? Dito and Converge no, signed a master facilitating provisioning agreement. No? So that would allow each other to share select terrestrial and submarine fiber optic cable assets. No? So Dennis Uy of Pampanga partners with Dennis Uy of Davao. No? Of course, the Converge has the money. Unfortunately, they don't want any equity stake in Dito Telecom. By buying an equity stake, they will also absorb the liability. So probably the, the itong partnership nito will just focus on revenue sharing. No? So this would give Converge an access to mobile uh, C 
SIM card uh, play. No? By the way, ICT is also submitting a bid to maintain and manage the Iloilo commercial port complex, FYI. Nickel, no, which uh, continues to be a laggard, is eyeing a net zero target by 2050 as they invest in new technologies in all its mining operations. 52-week low. No? So what are we buying right now? No, of course, we focus our, on our winners. It's not like uh, after these uh, stocks, we look, we shift to another play. No? So hindi ko gawain yun. Sabi mo, investing is a marathon, not a sprint. No? Unless tapos na yung laro, I don't sell my stocks. Mostly, uh, binabalikan ko rin. No? I'm just looking for a right entry. No? For example, GSMI, it's now trading at 160. They're giving this much dividend. Why are you selling that? Diba? Wala ka na malilipatan na mas mabilis. No, normally, I just sell stocks and shift to a faster horse. But after that faster horse, kung tapos yung laro doon, I, I, I keep rotating on my winners. No, I don't look. No, I, I only buy stocks pag there's a clear uh, clear sign. No? Or it's, it's a screaming buy. No? For example, a rate when a rate dropped to 28-29 pesos, so of course that's a screaming buy. Ali when we drop uh, 24, of course that's a screaming buy for us. Yun yung mga inaantay natin. Those are the opportunities we are looking for. No, right now, kasi they, they keep on flying, and it's really hard to chase these stocks. No? So I hope that's clear. No? Our our passcode for today is converge. No, thank you very much for listening. Bye.